Hello, welcome to the bonus review where I am going to compare the Google Pixel Buds with the Samsung Galaxy Buds. I have five categories to go over. So the first category is audio. Right out of the box, or out of the capsule, the Pixel Buds sound better. They have a deeper sound, better bass. The Galaxy Buds, without tampering with any equalizer or anything, they sound a little more tinny, they have more treble. You have to do a little bit more play with your settings and equalizer to get these to sound decent. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the Pixel Buds have just better audio quality. Category number two, comfort. I've used both of these buds for full days to, to test and the Pixel Buds, they do feel like, like they're very uncomfortable. After I would say the two hour mark, they have, I don't know if it's maybe because they're a little more round, they have this stick here that kind of, you know, you have to stick it in there and twist it. They feel fine for the first hour, but after the two hour mark, you sort of start to feel them okay, this is, this is starting to feel uncomfortable. But then you just switch the ear and you start over, let that one recover. The Galaxy Buds, uh, they are more comfortable. They're actually more lightweight now that I'm feeling them. They feel like nothing is in your ear. I wore these for most of the work day and I didn't really feel them at all. I, I used, uh, I primarily used the left side. I didn't use the right side at all just to, um, to fully test the discomfort or comfort, comfort. The Galaxy Buds Plus are generally more comfortable. They are more lightweight. They feel like nothing is in your ear. I do say these don't really have a specific way you put them in. You just put them in your ear and they stay. The Pixel Buds, you have to be careful because if you don't put them in quite properly, they might slip out, which is also another thing that happened when I first got them. I didn't realize that you have to kind of twist them in your ear and you sort of hear the audio change so you can tell when they're not in properly, you might hear some, some more noise coming in. But if, yeah, if you're not careful, you could be doing your thing and I've had the bud fall out. So that's that on comfort. Category number two, style. Just looking at the two buds side by side, I like the look of the Pixel Buds more. Uh, they just look more seamless. They have a better shape to them. I think that they sit in your ear a little more stealthy than the Galaxy Buds Plus to my right. These are the Pixel Buds to my left. These kind of, I feel like they stick out a little bit more. They're, they, they don't sit in the ear as well. These look a, a little more on a low key. I like the style of these better, the shape of them better. The style of the Pixel Buds is just better, which brings me into my next category, portability. First, I wanna talk about the case of the Pixel Buds. You can't beat it so far. These, while the cases look similar, just, you know, different shape, they are very different. Just this oblong shape changes so much. Look at these Pixel Buds. You can just open that all day. It has a satisfying snap. I can do it one-handed. I've tried the Galaxy Buds case uh, maybe I don't have the dexterity, but oh, I got it actually. Much more difficult to open one-handed. That snap is not as not as good. I wouldn't open this one-handed. These sit in my pocket better. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe it's just this little egg shape. It sits in the corner. This sits weird in my pocket. It starts shifting, and if I have my phone in my pocket, it'll start moving the phone, and then I have this weird like jigsaw puzzle of an event happening in my pocket because of the simple shape of the Galaxy Buds. They're pretty much the same weight. I feel like the, maybe the Pixel Buds case is a little bit weightier. The Pixel Buds have a better portability aspect. Also, they stay in the case better. I did a little experiment where I opened the lid and see how the, the buds fall out. This has like a little defense mechanism where if you shake it hard enough, the lid closes. But if you want to hold it open, um, and try to get those buds to come out. They really don't come out. I don't recommend doing that with the Galaxy Buds because they do come out. The, the magnet is not as strong and the buds, they don't really magnetize too well in there. They just sort of sit in there. So um, these fall out of the case. So if you have a moment where the case opens, you might find them falling out. So be wary of the 
security of the case. And the last category is battery life. I wear these things all day long, pretty much two hours at a time. I'll, I'll listen to two, three, sometimes four podcasts. The only time I'll get low battery if I wear one side over the other is at the end of the day. And even then, pop that in and you're good. Battery is, is very good on the Pixel Buds. I'm pretty impressed. There was, th this was a little, this, on the Galaxy Buds Plus, the battery, not as good. So I primarily used only the left side for this comparison. And I found the, the battery dying midway through the day. And I put them back in the case, thought the case had charged it, put it back in, the bud died on me before the end of the day. Like, what the heck is going on? Found out the case didn't actually charge the bud. Couldn't figure out why. To fix the problem, we had to plug in the case and then it started charging the buds without it being plugged in or, or being wireless. So that was a weird little hiccup. Even so, low battery in the middle of the day uh, puts this lower on the battery scale. In summation, if you can sacrifice some discomfort, uh, I would recommend the Google Pixel Buds just overall. They're, they're a better made product, I think. The quality is better. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. So thanks for watching this bonus review, this exclusive content. And uh, stay tuned for more bonus content.